Talks are being re-energized politically and technically. President, some key members are intensively engaged in looking at the details of a balanced result. They're looking at the sensitivities, at the flexibility that are necessary because the levels of ambition are very high. We are confident that as members, I mean all members, look at the whole picture and they see the gains, uh, they will uh, speed things up and conclude the round uh, in a very short period of time. In several ways, uh, to cite a few, one, when you bring tariffs down, markets open, new business opportunities arise and therefore also new investment opportunities are there. Uh, secondly, reducing transaction costs by facilitating the movement of goods across the borders, reducing red tape and improving the administrative procedures is something which is of high value to business. Thirdly, when you have more predictability, stability and transparency because you have better rules, this also should improve the business environment, facilitating trade and investment. The economies of the region have been improving and expanding, uh, pulling many people out of poverty. If this positive cycle is going to be expanded and sustained, it necessarily means that we must have a successful conclusion of the Doha round. My message will be to make business aware of the benefits and the gains and also of the cost of failure so that they can act accordingly with the governments and their politicians in support of trade liberalization.